Hello and welcome to a new video about sending data from ESP32 to a MQTT server to actually we are using HiveMQ and today we are really doing it. Yeah, Last time we connected just to the Wi-Fi. So uh, it was not clear if we connected or not. So I'm, I want to add an LED which shows if we are connected to the Wi-Fi and therefore I will simply use here pin number 22. Yeah. So I will add here connection yeah. and here green LED for Wi-Fi. This should show if I'm connected to Wi-Fi and then I'm also adding already a LED for my Internet of Things server, so for my MQTT server if I'm connected to MQTT afterwards. Uh, just to just to indicate that we are connected. Okay, so let's switch to the computer and program this. So actually at the computer I will first add the, the LED for Wi-Fi connection. So I'll simply define those pin numbers, LED, Wi-Fi, this was 22 and LED, IoT, this was 23. Okay, I will define them as outputs. Oops, where am I, where am I? Here we are. Define them as outputs. And what I also, what I'm also going to do is that I am uh, adding, adding here that the, the Wi-Fi is disabled at the beginning. Okay, so I will simply use there First, the disconnect, we'll do it like this, disconnect, this is disconnecting Wi-Fi, and I will set the Wi-Fi mode to, uh, to a client, yeah? not to access point, but to a client. So I'm not, this thing is not, can also be an access point, yeah? but now we are client for sure. Yeah? Okay, uh, then we need to check if we are connected or not here. Yeah. Uh, if, and here we can check again this thing here, if Wi-Fi is connected or not. Where is this? Here, Wi-Fi status. This indicates we are, we think we are connected. And this indicates we are connected. So if we are not connected, yeah, we will for sure uh, set Wi-Fi connected to false and we'll make digital digital out, uh, digital right LED Wi-Fi to low, turn on, turn off yeah? and else this, this means we think we are connected and we are indeed connected. We will turn on the LED. Okay. And during connection, I will also do something here. I will say if I modulo 2, so this means the rest. So this, this dog is between 0 and 1. If I divide something by 2, I divide it by 2. Yeah? And the rest of it can be either zero if it's an even number or one if it's an odd number. So this is everything which is zero is in is is uh, false and everything which is not zero is is true. 
So this is already sufficient. And then I can write digital right high else digital right low. This now means every second dot I make, this 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 LED will flash. Hmm. Let's upload this and try if this is doing what we expect it to do. And if it's still compiling and so on. Wrong spelling. Okay. Uploading. Nothing is going on. Why? Press reset. Let's see. Try to connect. It's not flashing. Ah, of course it's not flashing. Why should it flash? Yeah? There is no ground connection. Ah, see? Reset once again. Okay, good, good, this is working. Now we indicate, yeah, we are connected. Good, and we can, and this encoder is still working. Encoder is also still working. Clockwise, counterclockwise. Yeah, good. <laughs> okay, so now how to connect to the HiveMQ server. If you subscribe at HiveMQ, you will uh, get some, some host name yeah? and you have to connect via SSL connection. Yeah? To, do so, to do so, you have to include in your, in your program the Wi-Fi client secure. This supports this is a library which supports SSL connections. And I am using, for my MQTT traffic afterwards, I'm using the so-called PubSub client. Pub, pub, publish Subscribe client. Yeah? This is an MQTT client, an MQTT library designed for... It also works on Arduino. Okay. So, what to do is we define now here somewhere... Uh, Again, this this uh, variables, yeah. Wi-Fi client secure, Wi-Fi client. I will call the variable exactly like the end. I will also add this MQTT client, yeah. And I will have to hand over the Wi-Fi client. So the Wi-Fi client is managing the the SSL connection, and the MQTT client is managing the MQTT traffic. All right. So, actually, what I actually need is the MQTT client, but the MQTT client needs the Wi-Fi client, the Wi-Fi secure client, to connect to the server. All right? So, this makes the connection to the server, and this makes the communication to the server. You can think about it like that. Good. Uh, what actually we need for a SSL connection uh, is that we will... Uh, we need a certificate. Yeah. SSL connection is based on a certificate and if the it should prevent that another server is 
is behaving like hive MQ and we are just receiving data. Yeah? So if you are if you are that we're not giving data to a wrong server simply. Yeah? If you have subscribed to a Hive MQ cloud, you will get a long URL. The issue now is you find tons of videos, yeah, how to get the root certificate of, of Google and so on. So from web servers, which will provide, there is no web server behind. Yeah? It has a certificate, yes, but there is no web page. So you cannot simply enter this in your in your web browser and expect that there is something happening. Yeah? So how to get the certificate of this server? Yeah. I have used, I found out, I've used this open SSL. Yeah. You can start open, if you, you can install it, you can start open SSL, then it will open a thing like that. Alright? And actually what you have to do is to type the command open SSL, S client, yeah, S underscore client, and then show certs. This shows the certificates of a, of a certain server, all right? And here you enter the server, the URL, which conveniently you can copy here, yeah? and then the port number, and this is 883, 8883, 8883. And if you then press enter and execute this command, nothing happens, right? Oh, no, oh, yes. You get those certificates, all right? And here I have used I will use this certificate here. Yeah. And we have to hand it over to, to our Wi-Fi client secure. So tell him him it tell it. <laughs> uh, if the server presents this certificate, this is okay for us. Alright. I am exa not exactly sure. Because this certificate will end 2025, for instance. Yeah? So the certificate has a lifetime. And after 2025, which is quite a someday in the future, but however, someday in the future I have to change my code and I really don't like this. Maybe somebody could enlighten me how we can check this certificate with a... Because usually the web server is checking the certificate with some authentication server. Yeah? Getting the certificate and requesting at the authentication server. Is this the server? And it said, yes, this is a certificate I issued. Boo, boo, boo. I don't know how to, to implement this, this, this communication. So I decided just to use the certificate. So this is working for now. Yeah? And, and tell the Wi-Fi client, yeah, if this certificate is presented, then we are fine. Okay, so actually what I want to do is I want to add here, uh, I want to add here a new, a new file. Yeah. You can do it here yeah, with new tab, book, yeah. and you have to, to enter a name. And actually I'm going to enter the name root certificate.h yeah? because I want to have this root certificate in a separate file then at least I can I can uh, open this root certificate there okay what I usually do is I make something like this so this means it will only be, it will, this everything, if not defined root certificate, yeah, this will not be, this will not be compiled. Yeah. This is to prevent, this is to prevent that a header file is included more than once. Okay. And then I will use this certificate we have just seen. Yeah. And I will do it like this. I will define a constant. Yeah character constant in program memory 
And if you do it like this, R, score, EOF, begin, and in the end you took end of file, zack, zack. Yeah. You can just copy the certificate you found in the, in the hyphen Q, in, in the, the open SSL from hyphen Q here. All right. So, uh, save. This is now my root certificate. And here I will say include root ca.h. Now I've included this. Why I'm writing this with not like that, but like that, because here I expect this to be in the same directory. So that I'm not accidentally using a wrong root certificate, which is located somewhere else on my computer. I want to use the directory where this is also working. Yeah? So now I have this root certificate yeah? here, this root CA as a variable. It's not defined in here. It's defined in this header file. However, I can use it because I included it. All right. So actually what I need to do is that in, 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 uh, Setup, setup. I need to tell the Wi-Fi client secure what is the root certificate. Okay. This is how this is done. Wi-Fi client dot set CA certificate root CA because this is this is here. Okay. This should do the trick. Okay. The MQTT client also needs a callback function, right? So if we have subscribed the topic, this callback function is called then. Yeah? How does a callback function look like? The header is looking like this. Yeah? So there's a pointer to a character field where we receive the topic. There's a pointer to a byte field where we receive the payload. And there is an integer which gives the length of the payload. Right. So this, right now, we're doing nothing in here. Yeah? We're doing nothing in here. We just save. However, we say uh, that our MQTT client has this callback function. So I'm telling now the MQTT client. I've told the MQTT client where I defined it that it should use this. I told this that this is the certificate and I told now the MQTT client that in case we are receiving something from a subscribed topic from MQTT, we want to call this post callback. Okay. And actually what I'm going to do in this post callback is is simply oh just make serial dot print line I'll make a string received And then I will say topic. Then I will add received. The topic from here, yeah. then I will add payload and I will make
uh, I will add all the payloads. Yeah. Actually, I could write it like this. Received is received plus, or I can simply add plus equals. This means received is received plus whatever to here. Yeah? And I will, I will cast this as character and add the index i. Yeah? And here I will receive, I will print then, I will simply print it out on the serial monitor so that we just see that we received something. Okay, now this is the, the callback function. This is good. Callback function is good. Good. Good, good. Uh, what else we have to do? We have to connect. Of course we have to connect. And I will do it exactly the same way as, as before. So I will Make it like this, I have deconnected, then I will make a function connect IoT. Yeah. Uh, I will make I will simply cope with this. This is good and just replace it with the correct values. Oh, and I need, of course, the server as well. IoT host. And here we'll copy this, this server. Then, of course, we need IoT user name. This you have configured on HiveMQ. Okay, now we have also this IoT stuff. Yeah? What we need to do? Yeah? Try to connect, and here I'm not writing Wi Fi SSID, I will write the IoT host. And then I have to call the client, not the Wi Fi, I have to call the client MQTT client dot and connect oh i also need the client id mqtd client heinz this client ID shall be unique. Yeah? So you every every client on the IRD on the MQTT server needs to have a unique client ID. You have to think about something. I now I know pff, I'm the only one at the server and so on, so I simply use here this MQTT client. Yeah. So client ID connect. Yeah? Client ID dot C string. I will not forget this time. Yeah. Then we have the username. Then we have the password. And of course, first I have to set the
set server Gut. And also the part, the port I have to give. So this should connect, right? This should connect. And it will return if it's if it has connected successfully or not. Uh, if it's not, I will write could not connect. Yeah. And there is also a reason code. Yeah. Which is provided by this MQDT, MQDT, MQDT client, yeah? and I will print this. Yeah? This is serial. It looks like this. Simply print the state. If we are connected, What was the variable? I deconnected, it's true. Mm -hmm. Nice. But I don't need this I anymore. I will set this last count right to milli somewhere. This here, I don't need anymore. Pooh. Break it too much. I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay. When do we want to connect to IoT? Yeah. Here. If we are connected to Wi Fi. I'll write it here. Yeah. Doesn't really matter. If and now IoT, uh -huh. Where is this IoT connected here? If not IoT connected, it's getting already pretty long. This this program. If not IoT connected, yeah, then we want to connect to IoT. And we will write LED IoT low. Else. And now I will also check this. Yeah? There is also a question, is it connect, not connect, is it connected? Yeah. Then we are fine. Else, we are not that fine and I will set this IRD connected to false. 
Puh. Now it's time to test. Upload. Watch the serial monitor that we have some output. It's obviously time to test. Something wrong? Uh -huh. Also. I need a return type. Of course, this was not a valid function declaration. Some typos which will come up during compilation. I'm sure you know. Right? Usually in a decent development process you make reviews and so on. Yeah? Peer reviews and watch the code. This is proper software development. What this is hacking more or less. <laughs> but okay, yeah, small projects. Okay, it's at least it's uploading. Next let's see what is happening. Connecting. <laughs> We're connected. We're connected. We're connected to the MQTT server. Are we? Well, what what can we do? Huh? If we are connected to the MQTT server, yeah. Well, right, of course, we are connected here, because this and we will subscribe to some topics, okay, mqtt client subscribe And I will simply subscribe to, rather I don't know, hands encoder. Now we subscribe to hands encoder, okay? And we are going also going to publish things. Yeah? And when we are going to publish, when ever. We change the value. Where is this here? Okay, here I'm going to publish. Yeah. MQTT client dot publish Heinz encoder. Here I'm and the value. Uh, what is the value? Is this working or is this the wrong? Is this the wrong type? Let's see. Compile it. Try to compile it. Ah, it's the wrong type. Okay, so I will do it like that. I will use a string uh, value oh, string value string <laughs> this is good yeah. and here we make value string plus is gleich value now we have casted it to a string here the, here the string the string uh, method is really nice. Okay. The string uh, object. Publish it here as well. 
So we will publish the topic Heinz encoder and we'll Here that there are, here it's not that nice the string object. Here's So <laughs> what I try to do is I want to publish Heinz encoder with the with the value yeah? and I want to uh, subscribe it as well. So we should send it to the MQTT server and receive it from there back. If this is working, it should work. Connected. Hmm. Publishing, but we're not receiving back. Why is that? Are we connected to the NQDT server? Or do we just think we are connected? Connected to the Wi Fi this. If we are connected, right? Uh, yeah, this is it's it's lit, so this must be. So we should be connected, and we should have subscribed to this. Subscribe is this maybe wrong? Wrongly spelled. So I like this. Ah, maybe the problem is this. This here. Ooh. Let's try it without this final slash. The final slash might be the problem. Let's try it. This was maybe a wrong topic. This was not the topic, stupid. We need... When? When is this uh, MQTT client calling the callback function? We need to give the MQTT client somewhere a room huh, to, to be executed. Man, God. This is just wrong what I did. Yeah. Of course, I just right now I <sighs> I show you what I mean. There is a function. My God, so stupid. So if we are connected, then we will make a so-called loop. Yeah. We have to call this loop function periodically so that the MQTT client does its stuff, looks if 
if something has to be sent, if something has to be received and so on. And now it's, now I'm pretty sure it's working. Maria. Yeah, brain fault. It's a moment, an opportunity to learn. It's not a fault. It's the negatives you use to develop. Like in photos, analog photos. Receive it back now. So this is the proof. Finally. This is the proof. We now sending data from here to Hive and MQ. Subscribe it back and get it to here. <laughs> yeah. But we're not only, I mean, the important thing is that we can get it there. Yeah? And from there, we can get it to everywhere. So this is Internet of Things. Ah, now I am at a, at a MQTT server somewhere in the world, accessible public, 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 publicity, pub, public accessible. Next time we want to, to set up our uh, Thingworks server so that it, it can get this data from the MQTT server. All right, so we're getting now the data from the MQTT server then to the Thingwork server. This we will discover, yeah, research in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.